Welcome back to Libertas Van Build and during this week we've done so much we've actually even had to split this in two parts. This is part one, look out for part two. <laughs> so what are you doing? Taking the back off so we're going to find the fixing point yep. for the seatbelt. And you got a little bonus didn't you? What would you get? I did, I got paid. You were paid? <laughs> you got two 10p's that fell out. Whoop whoop! <laughs> Being at the amusement arcade. Yeah. Um, so the reason that you're doing this, do you want to take the camera and then you can show them like underneath what you're looking at? To see towards yeah. Okay. Well, what you're looking for then? Ooh. I don't know if I've got this right around. It's Too close. So this is the bottom of the seat where you put your bum. This bit is the back of the seat, and you can see the headrest is up here. So I've just taken the back off here, and you got a bit of cardboard. And then that centre post that runs up there, which you can't really see because it's too dark, will have a fixing point for the seatbelt because if you have the phone back. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, this bit here runs down through the back of the chair. Yep. So there will be a fixing point underneath here somewhere. And the reason that we're doing that is because on this seat we have one three point seatbelt. And then we've got a lap seat belt. So we're going to change this lap seat belt for another three point seat belt and then do exactly the same on the one that Rupi Roo has decided that he's just going to be lying on. Um, and then that way we've got um, we've got safe seat belts for all the girls. So Mark is going to um, cut out this section here. So this was um, a customization that people did. This is the back of the seat. Um, and so they've um, done this. So Mark's going to take this out and then weld another black Hello. plate on. Hey, Alina. Ah, oh, okay. Um, so then he can finish this one. Not sure if you can hear the girls in the background, but they're singing in the bathroom. Um, well, safety. How class. cool do you look? <laughs> they're like skiing glasses. Yeah. Um, Mark put this seat um, together. Not sure if I showed you the other day, but this bit is all up because we were working out about putting the um, three-point seat belt on. Um, so that should be arriving soon. Uh, Mark's obviously taken these bits off. Do you want to explain? Do you yeah. want to explain? Uh, so hidden up here behind the vapor barrier was a light that was still installed. So I've taken that down, taken the light out. Oh. Yeah. That's the cable there, so I'll trace that back and cut that off and heat shrink the cable so there's not a fire risk or anything like that because there'll be obviously bare cables. You can see there's water already inside of it. Wow. So that's taken down another way. <coughs> um, I've taken it down so we can wire easier. So yeah, so. You've got a trunk in to go up. This was obviously done by the people that we bought the van from. Um, one of the downsides, as Mox has just said, is that the. The wiring for the electrics hasn't been run up through to come out of the yeah so we're going to go through the void <clears throat> through those gaps where the squares are coming yep. down through so we'll tuck the wires down there um <clears throat> when it comes down vertically we're going to run the plastic tubing down so that the wires are kept nice and neat prim and proper yeah and make sure and that it's all safe big. um and we had said in a previous video obviously the wiring doesn't go behind the vapor barrier if, if that makes sense like the tubing will come outside so that if any other work needs to be done to it we can still access it it won't yeah. go behind the vapor barrier vapor. however you have to have the electrics running up through the van and you also need to connect it to the van why do you have to connect it to the van to earth it okay so just explain what that means i would but i don't understand the electrics just yet <laughs> Okay, so this is that. this is something that we're still um, learning, and luckily carpentry is my thing. Electrics is definitely not. So it's um, all to do with their thing, so you don't get shocks and blow fuses and yada yada yada. But I'm no expert on that. But <clears throat> just to go back over that. The reason why that's opened up is that yeah. we were planning to potentially put a window in there because the girls are going to be sat there travelling, or we are, depending on who's driving. <coughs> so we have two facing backwards and two facing forwards. Yeah. So either put a window in this door. Okay. Or put a window there, or potentially put a window in both sides, depending. <coughs> but I think travel sickness-wise, it's probably better to put one in there. 
Yeah, and I also think if we put one in this side, then it means that we can have a little shelf underneath the window. And we're also going to be just down here somewhere, we're going to be putting USB points because obviously the table is going to go around about here as well, which is a removable table. Um, so USB points for recharging devices and that type of thing. So it makes more sense to probably have it this side, I would say. Um, so window we've got to try and work out and sort out this flooring um obviously we're sorting out but we couldn't do this bit until we sorted out what seatings we were having and how these were going to go in um and that may brings me back to this one here which we just need to cut the metal out and then um weld another piece on the back and then paint all of that one up and yeah, then we'll show you the update from there. After successfully fitting the three point seat belts to both sets of seats, you join us here on Friday where Mark gets cracking with the rest of the floor. So you can see here right now he is measuring out for all the little noggins which are the sections that are, are the smaller sections that go in between the battens. Um, he also treated the floor because he managed to find some rubber um, almost like caps um, to put over some of the holes the larger holes that were in the floor Grace was also super keen to help out she is absolutely loving learning these new skills and I'm pretty sure that Mark's actually pretty chuffed that she's doing it along with him as well <laughs> just yet okay but something's just arrived what's just arrived grace um it's very big a window it is say, a window i was Ooh. gonna say a mirror <laughs> sorry um it is super super exciting look how big that is that's big huge mirror. and that Why am I saying Wait. that is going there here. oh it's not there we go here so this space here, that's where it's going to go. So um, after, well done Grace, beautifully demonstrated. After Mark has finished doing the floor. And me, and me. Don't yeah, about me. even though he's injured, Sorry. he's doing a very, very good job. been obviously doing the battening for the floor and what is it that you're doing now uh so where the seats are gonna sit yep they're gonna bolt through obviously we're not gonna bolt straight through the sun attacks no so we're gonna cut the sun attacks put the button down yep. screw the button down through with some self-tapping screws and then when we come to screw i'll sort of bolt the seats down yeah the bolts will go through the seat fixings, it'll go through the ply board, it'll go through the batten, to the underneath or through the van floor. We'll then put a four, no, 100 mil by 100 mil, um, which is four inch plate, four by four inch plate, a square plate. Yep. That'll go through the van floor and that'll sit underneath with a washer, then a nut. So we'll have a nice big chunky fixing and hopefully that will be nice and safe. Well, it should be nice and safe. It's going to be a nice big sandwich that it'll bolt through and it'll compress and therefore we should be tickety-boo for the seat fixings. Cool. Excellent. So I'm going to... You're going to cut these out? 
I'm going to cut these out. But don't do like this. <gasps> no. This was done by a grinder. <laughs> no one can deny that blood, sweat and tears has gone into us. So we definitely yeah, that's blood. true. We've had sweat from the heat. Yeah. Just, oh, I might have shred a tear or two when I did this, if I'm honest. So we've definitely done blood, sweat and tears into this one. We certainly have. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to crack on. Let's go. So, while I've been upstairs, Mark has been sorting out um, the rest of the solitaire for the floor and cutting it to size. It's not fixed yet. Um, and then, what happened? Uh, stuff happened. <clears throat> um, so, we've come to the end of having the three boards of Celotax, and we've got as I was just finishing off poking bits in rather than buying a whole nother board of Surtax for tiny little squares and thinking that uh, you'd done I thought I'd just finish off and managed to poke the last remnants of blocks that we had Grace went what oh, about look. this one dad? I looked at what about I thought I'd done so well <laughs> okay, no, you cool. have done well uh, you've done my yeah, you bubble have. got popped by a nine year old Oh, thanks, Chris. Um, but you have done really well. But yeah, so we've decided there's really not any point in purchasing another board of Celotex. No. Nope. So I think we're just gonna spray foam that bit, yeah. We're gonna foam it, and um, then we're gonna seal it, and then we'll let you know if that's a good or bad idea later on. <laughs> yeah, and look, but, <clears> look <throat> at Rupi Roo. He's like, he's just straight in there. He, he did something. In this, he? Yeah, he did something so he, cute yesterday, which it was is so, so cute. It was really cute, and so it's so cute. we've never seen him do anything like it before. Oh, so yesterday we saw him um, out here. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. I know. I just can... trying to get control of this gimbal sometimes. Look, I can um, get control of it. So we saw him. We were all inside, I and saw we him, and mean. sorry, Grace saw him first. And basically, he's put his paws up to the door um, to try and get into the van. The van was all locked up. So, so Rue cute. absolutely loves this van um, and wants to be in here all the time. So that's good. We're going to van life. It is Grace, isn't it? Rue's going to enjoy it. Yes. He's still been pretty poorly, hasn't he? What's wrong with him, Grace? He's got a... We think he's got... Um... Trap nerve in his shoulder. A trap nerve in his shoulder. Yeah. Because whenever he likes jumps down, he then starts whining. Yeah. And he pe keeps on putting his paw up, so we're like, something's wrong with his paw. Something is wrong with him. Yeah, we think it's a trap nerve, which is why it tends to be so uh, and a bit more sporadic. But when he whines and cries, it's so loud. Um. So, yeah, he's still a little bit of a poorly boy right now. Right, Mark, I'm going to leave you to do this bit while I go and do the next bit upstairs, which is not van building, it's van editing. Join us for part two where you find out exactly what Mark is talking about here and also what this is all about <laughs> and what that has to do with our van life and of course how we got on with doing this see you in part two